What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on this Challenger because it needs some TLC. On my last trip to Mexico, I went to this high-end car wash and honestly they did a really lousy job. Alright, let me show you guys real quickly what these guys did because I'm not really happy with the way they left my car. But let's take a look at it real quick. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it with the, with the angle or with this camera but there are a lot of swirl marks all over this car. These guys did a lousy job when they were washing my car and supposedly it was a high-end car wash. The back of the car now we're going to see two oaks is in the shade, but there they left also swirl marks on here. On the trunk, there was several swirl marks, but it's in the shade so you're not going to be able to see that too well. But the part of the car that is in the sun, you can see obviously that it's really bad. That's pretty much how the whole car looks like right now. You have all these swirl marks. As we were washing my car, you know, I was getting really pissed off, but I already paid for the service and... I was in the car, I was just hoping it would end soon to get out of there and hopefully they, won't, they didn't damage my car so much. But either way guys, the car does have some damage so we're going to have to fix it now. So it would be a lot of elbow grease and polishing, but soon enough this will be back to its seamless black paint that it used to have. It's going to be several hours, but hopefully I can get it done soon. Alright guys, let me show you real quickly the products I'm going to be using to get this paint back to where it was. And here it is. We have some microfiber cloths. We have this one to apply. The, the polish this one to remove the polish i like to use mcguire's ultimate polish because it works really well and i've had really good results and the paint almost looks like a mirror finish when i use this one i also like to use mcguire's gold class i'm going to be using to wash my car and of course to make these tires look nice and good i'm going to put some mcguire's foam tire shine all right guys, so you've seen the products I'm gonna be using. Let's get started on this car because I gotta wash it and polish it. I know I'm not gonna get the whole car done today, but I'm gonna try at least to start with from the roof and work my way down. All right guys, before I start washing this car, I gotta move the car back to the shade because the sun actually warms up the paint. It's easier to scratch it. So let me move this car back into the shade. Let's start washing this car. Yeah, well that's the best it's gonna get. Yeah, the Meguiar's Gold Class have a nice pleasant smell when you're washing your car. I like it a lot. So does my wife. All right. I think that's enough. I'm not sure you guys can see it, but nah, I think the, the rain pretty much washed them out, but there was a lot of rocks in between the splitter and the front bumper. Also on my way back from, from Mexico, I hit a twig and it got stuck right in here. I didn't even know that it was even possible, but the twig went straight into, into it between the bumper and the splitter and actually had to pull that, that twig out. All right, let's just rinse her off, dry her off, and start applying some polish. From that angle, it looks really shiny. The car looks in really nice condition, but from this angle, you just see them a lot. They really stick out like a sore thumb, so let's apply some of this polish to this microfiber. Let's just work it. I know this is not the most efficient way, but this is the way I like to polish my cars. I just wanted to give you guys a quick idea of the condition the car was after those guys washed it. And after I'm done, we'll take it to the sunlight so you guys can see everything. It's looking really nice. All right, guys, you guys can see that this paint is looking cherry now. It looks good. You don't really see any swirl marks. If anything, it's real minor stuff though, but I'm gonna finish polishing it out and the whole car is gonna be like this. So we're gonna go from 
all those swirl marks, I'm pretty sure you guys can see it from this angle. We're gonna go from all that. It's really bad. To this. All right, guys. Pretty much, I'm done polishing the hood already. I was using the microfiber cloth and the the polish, but just pretty much my arms got pretty tired because there was a lot of surface area to polish. So I ended up just go going inside and grabbing my my buffer, this orbital buffer. It's not a real fancy one, but I used a Craftsman with a six inch buffer. Works pretty well. I've had it for a few years, but I don't really like using it. But in this occasion, I think I had to because it was just so much area I had to polish. So pretty much, I did that. Came out pretty good. Right now, let's take this card to the sunlight so you guys take a better look at it. I got rid of most of all the swirl marks with the buffer. There's still some fine marks left that I couldn't get, but the more polished, eventually all those will go away. But it's a huge improvement from where it was. You guys see in the video, it was really bad. Especially in this area, you see so many marks, but now it's pretty, pretty shiny. All right guys, so this hood is looking awesome. I'm really happy with the results. But as for today, I think that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna do any more polishing, but throughout the week, I'm gonna be polishing panel by panel at a time. But as of today, guys, I'm done. And I just wanna say real quickly, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys till next week. I'll see you guys till later.